you mentioned this and alluded to the run game. Uh, take a look. The numbers back up exactly what you were saying. Um, total yards per carry for the offense, 3.9. Uh, lowest average since 2014. Rushing edge. So those tight ends, remember they replace tight ends coach uh, 3.5 rest of the O line was 4.05 and that's um, when the offensive line was kind of shuffling through multiple injuries as well so the numbers those are the kind of numbers that you were alluding to they, they just didn't get it done running the football often enough yeah they really didn't and of course losing Nick Chubb is not easy for anybody but we, obviously this is a league now where you have to at least have an above average run game if you have a good offensive line and a good scheme and then capable backs and Kareem Hunt and Jerome Ford are capable backs and the rest in theory was there so it isn't just about untapping the passing game and sure some of those statistics undoubtedly are impacted by when they were playing a PJ Walker or a Dorian Thompson Robinson was the threat of the pass or the deep pass in particular taken away and therefore you were facing heavier box counts and you know single high safety looks and, and just challenging you and and making it harder to run, yes, no question about it. But still, um, this isn't just fixing Deshaun Watson. The entire offense, I think, needs a bit of an overhaul, um, a new look. And, and I think, you know, honestly, Stefanski deserves credit for these are guys he's been with for a while. Start fresh, do a search, maybe bring in someone who views things differently than you um, and, and find a, a nice equilibrium for all involved.